In this video, we'll teach you the basics of creating a design in Golaicha. We will go through how a design creation process fits in a typical Golaicha workflow. There are many tools and tricks in Golaicha as there are design types. For this example, we will create a very simple design. You can pause the video whenever you need time to follow through. Okay, let's get right into it. First, we'll create some horizontal stripes on a blank canvas. You will notice that the stripes use the active colors shown in the bottom left. You can set the minimum and maximum thickness of the stripes on the window here and generate variations. This looks okay. Let's try the interlace effect on this. Looks a bit busy, but we'll clean it up after this. One of our favorite tools for simplifying abstract design is the medium tool. As you can see, it pulls together the loose bits. This looks better now. Let's add some life into this design by assigning some more colors. The auto color assignment tool lets you add new colors in the design that have only few colors. Now I'm holding shift before I click on the design. It will randomly assign colors in all areas of the particular color you click on. Let's export this and use color combination tool to cycle through different color combinations. I think tone on tone would be better option for this design. Ah yes. Let's go with this one. In fact, let's have a little more fun with the design and use flip stripe effect. Make the width a little larger. And now the exciting part, visualizing the design in real rug textures. Let's make this color silk and this one loop. Let's also lower the pile on the loop. Looks good. How does it look in a room? Impressive. Right? Let's now check the folded view. Not bad. Let's now check the strike off view. Set the width to max. We'll talk about this one in detail in another video. But take a nice look at the texture details on this way. Let's apply the changes to save all the textures and pile height changes we made earlier and close this. Now you see we have some colors that are not yet mapped to the current color set. Let's go ahead and fix this by accessing the swatch menu here and try to find the color closest to this color in our color set. Light top should be fine. If you want to automatically map all the colors, you can just go here and do it in a click. You can always go in and adjust colors anytime. Don't forget to save your design. Let's end this tutorial by looking at the design plate, which shows the design colors, materials, size, and nice visualization of the design itself. Hope this video was useful to you. You can comment down below if you have any questions and we will see you the next one.